Welcome and thanks for joining us here at Carlton Draft, a home game where two AFL superstars will be playing it out to see who wins. Oh, the golden pint. I've heard it looks amazing sitting on top of your hard rubbish. Also, the winners get a keg of Carlton Draft they can donate to their favourite pub. And mentioning pubs, Village Bell Hotel. That is where we're shooting this episode. It's right here in the heart of St Kilda. If you haven't been to this pub, come on down. Now, without further ado, let's meet our competitors. The first competitor has one of the best moustaches you will ever see. It would make Ned Flanders jealous. Zach Tui. Glad to be here, and uh, fingers crossed, Ed's as good at this game as he is at kicking footy, because I uh, reckon I'll be safe if he is. <laughs> Going up against him from the Carlton Football Club is Ed Kerno. How are you, Ed? Uh, no, pumped to play. Looking forward to um, uh, sending some punishment Zach's way again, as, as I'm expecting we'll do on the weekend, Zachy. Well, your competitive spirit is out and about, guys. Let's kick it off with our first game. One-liners. The dream of every comedian is to get a sweet one-liner, guys. But until I get my own, I'm going to quote some of these and you guys get to guess who said them. So your name is your buzzer and you get an extra goal if you can impersonate them properly. Who said this one-liner? Tell them they're dreaming. Ed, um, someone from the castle. It was, it was Daryl Kerrigan. So at the moment, I'm going to give you three points for oh. that half a goal. Can you impersonate Daryl Kerrigan for me, Ed? Tell them they're dreaming. That's out in the full. <laughs> I'm going to give you one point for the attempt. Oh. Moving past that performance. Martini, shaken, not stirred. Zach, James Bond. Zach, that is right, James Bond. That was, of course, in Goldfinger when Sean Connery, arguably the best Bond, said it. Zach, how's your Sean Connery? <laughs> uh, what's the list he has? Sh shaken, not stirred. That was very good. Ogres are like onions. Ed Shrek. Very good. That's exactly it, mate. How good's your Shrek? <laughs> Ogres are like onions. That was terrible. <laughs> that was worse than the first one. Let's get ready to rumble. Zach Bruce Buffer? Oh, no. It's Michael Buffer. I believe he has a brother called Bruce. So I'm going to give you three points for that. Give us your best, Michael Buffer. Let's get ready to rumble. You're a wizard, Harry. Zach Dumbledore? Ed? Severus Snake. I liked your commitment to the screen. You really lent in there, but it was Hagrid. I'm not going to give either of you a goal for that. But Ed, I will give you a goal if you give me your best Hagrid. You're a wizard, Harry. Harry. <laughs> Guardian Leviosa. No, we're taking points off. That's the creepiest thing I've seen on this show so far. I feel like you're going to curse me if I don't give you something. <laughs> I'll give you another half goal. Our game is rich in history and you can tell from our club songs. Although, you know, what would be cool? Hearing those songs remixed. In this quarter, you will each be singing the lyrics your club songs to the tune of some new songs. I don't know the songs that have been thrown your way, but listening to your tune, hopefully I can nail it. If I can, you get a goal. Zach, how's your singing voice? Shocking, and my musical knowledge is even worse. But I am only playing Ed, so I should be right. See if you can get this tune. Uh, we are Geelong, the greatest team of all. We're always on the ball. Oh, no. Can I do that? Oh, dancing yes. queen. See? Yeah. Young. Yes! Right. Here we go, the next one. Uh, we are Geelong, the greatest team of all. Nah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that. I can't tell it. Nah. Yeah, go on. Nah, okay. You know, oh, waltzing waltzing Matilda. Matilda. Yeah. Final song for you, yeah. Zach. Oh. Oh. All right, just give me a second. You can chop this bit out. We'll play the game the way it should be played. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> nah, I'm going to have to pass. I'm going to have to pass. Ah, uh, yeah, that's not easy, is it? <laughs> it laughs like a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, after hearing your accents, I'm really looking forward to hearing your singing voice. Do you want to warm up with the Carlton region? We are the Navy Blues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's dark. No, let's get into it. All right? Look at the words. <laughs> you read <them. laughs> You're reading the words. It's been a tough few years. Here we go, Ed. <clears throat> we are the Navy Blues. We are the Navy Blues. Do, do, do. <laughs> oh, I'm genuinely worried you'll have a brain aneurysm. I've got to put you out of it. Oh, up there, Kazali. Of course, that's why you just jolted up. It makes sense now. <laughs> this is the second one. 
We are bluesing. <laughs> Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> That's the easiest one yet, I reckon. Don't stop okay. believing. Don't stop believing by Journey. Come on. Okay, last one, Ed. There you go. We are the Navy Blues. <laughs> <laughs> I'm worn out. I need half time. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. You've tried so hard. I'm just oh. gonna give you a goal. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this is pathetic, Ed. You shouldn't. Ta- you shouldn't accept that. But that is what we'd like to call in the business a train wreck. It's time to find out who has the honour of being listed in this quarter's game. You know, I get calls every week, guys, from celebrities across the world asking to be featured in Carlton Draft home game. For the last time, George Clooney, (laughs) stop calling me. You're not going to get on. So you guys have to describe the person. I don't know who they are. I'm going to hold them up. You give me as many guesses as possible. Hopefully I nail it. You get a goal for a correct answer, and we'll get through as many celebrities as possible in the time given. Okay, Ed, your time starts now. Uh, great Carlton man, thinks he's funny. Hamish's best mate. Oh, Andy, Andy Lee. Of course. Next one. Best singer in the world, uh, female voice. Uh, female voice. Uh, English. Um, <sighs> best singer. Someone like me. Despite the fact that uh, you didn't really get it. Adele. Is that Adele? Yes! Sent a half forward for Brisbane. Um, loves a Carlton draft beer. Oh, Speaks real like this. Um. <clears throat> Oh, John O'Brown. Yeah, yeah. John O'Brown. Yeah. Uh, oh, Dino. Time up. Someone like me. <laughs> Are we just going to gloss over that? Go. Okay, it's your turn, mate. Okay. Your time starts now. Uh, Essendon, iconic player, was the coach for a long time and um, fell out during a difficult Not time. No. Nah. Iconic uh, player. Uh, uh, James Hurd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who that is. Pass. Yeah, that wouldn't be easy. Oh, singer. Um, yeah, pass. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know. Ah, uh, Paul Kelly. Uh, royalty, uh, Meghan Markle's husband. Oh, um, Prince Harry. Yeah. There you go, mate. Um, yeah, a bit difficult because there was a couple of names there. Corey Worthington. Is this mate, the par- You weren't around the party when guy? Corey the party boy yeah, Worthington. Yeah, yeah, yes, I, I that was him. Yeah. That kind of new story, of course, is going to hit the shores of Ireland. Delicious beer. Also, you get to learn a thing or two. Why? Because there's trivia under the bottle cap. So, guys, name is your buzzer yet again. Goal for each correct dancer. It's a very close game. Your time starts now. Who does Australia play in the International Rules Series? Zach Ireland. Correct. Who holds the record for most disposals in an AFL game? Zach Tom Mitchell. That is true. Uh, extra goal for either of you. Do you know how many? 54. That is correct. What year did Geelong and Carlton last play against each other in a grand final? Zach 95. That is correct. Heartbreaking as it was. Who won the first season of Australian Idol? The guy Sebastian. Correct. That is a goal. To the closest round number, how many thousand kilometres are between Australia and Ireland? Zach. 15. Ed, do you want to give it a shot? 16. No, it is 17,000, but it's not going to make a difference anyway because Zach Tui, you have run away with the golden pint, my friend. It's, it's a massive honour, but it doesn't feel like much of an achievement given the opposition, but still very happy. <laughs> Mate, who would you like to donate your Carlton Draft keep to? I'll be sending it to the Barwon Club, please, in Mora Blue Street. Great pub, very close to GMHBA Stadium. Zach Tui, Ed Kerno, thank you so much for being part of Carlton Draft, a home game, and we'll see you next week.